Fish Explorer Kids. In this episode, you'll meet a group of siblings discussing the important topics of global warming and climate change. Through their conversation, they explore what these terms mean and how everyone can contribute to helping our planet. This is a great way for kids to practice English, learn new vocabulary, and discover how they can make a difference. Let's join the siblings now. Hey guys, do you know what global warming and climate change are? I've heard about them, but I'm not really sure what they mean. Can you explain it? Yeah, what are they? Sure, global warming is when the Earth's average temperature gets hotter. This happens because we're adding gases like carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Mainly by burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas for energy. These gases trap heat from the sun, making the planet warmer. So, it's like the Earth has a fever because it's too hot. Exactly! When the Earth gets too hot, it causes problems like melting ice, rising sea levels, and extreme weather. Now, climate change is a bigger term. It means the weather patterns around the world are changing. Global warming is causing these changes. But climate change also includes things like more storms, droughts, and floods. What are sea levels? Sea levels are how high the ocean water is. When it gets warmer, ice in places like the North Pole and glaciers melt, and this extra water makes the sea levels rise. That can cause flooding in places where people live. Wow, that sounds serious. What can we do to help? There are lots of small things we can do to help. For example, we can save energy by turning off lights when we don't need them and using less water. How can we use less water? We can take shorter showers, turn off the tap while brushing our teeth, and fix any leaks in the house. What about recycling? We do that at school. Yes, recycling is very important. It means using old things to make new things, so we don't waste resources. We can also reuse items and reduce the amount of plastic we use, like bringing our own bags to the store and using reusable water bottles. What about planting trees? I heard that helps too. Absolutely. Trees help because they take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen, which we need to breathe. Planting trees can really help the environment. And can we walk or ride our bikes instead of using the car? Yes. That's a great idea. Walking, biking, or using public transportation can help reduce pollution from cars. Can we tell our friends about this too? Yes, talking to your friends and family about these issues helps spread awareness. You can also get involved in community projects or school programs that focus on the environment. This is really interesting. I want to start helping right away. 
Me too. Thanks for explaining everything. You're welcome. Every little bit helps. By making small changes in our daily lives, we can all contribute to a healthier planet. Let's work together to make a positive impact on our planet. Yeah, let's do it. Keep learning and sharing what you know, and we can all make a big difference together. We hope you and Joe wide on understanding global warming and climate change on English Explorer Kids. Through this conversation, you've learned about global warming, climate change, and simple ways to help protect our environment. Remember, practicing English can be fun and educational, especially when discussing important topics with family and friends. Keep talking, keep learning, and let's all do our part to take care of our planet. Until next time, happy learning and happy helping. Don't forget to subscribe.